Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. I'm really excited for this video because apparently this thing, which has been collecting dust for years, makes some money again. Okay, so what am I talking about? This is a Black Miner F1 FPGA. It's an older FPGA and I've had it for a while, years and years now, and it did really well when I first got it, but um, it's kind of fell out of favor because development hasn't really happened on it. Um, and that changed just recently where it looks like I can mine Caspa with this, which is really exciting because who doesn't love taking an old dead piece of hardware that's just been sitting around doing nothing and being able to hopefully turn a profit with it I haven't used it in a long time. It's covered in dust. It's been years and years and years. So in this video, we're gonna get it set up. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride with me. We'll get the bitstream loaded onto it, get it powered on, look at its performance on Caspa if it's worth it, check the power usage, have some fun. Let's get going. I think I got everything I need here. So this I'm gonna power by a server power supply. It's got five six pin connectors on it, ethernet, and I think I'm ready to roll. It's been a long time since I powered this on. It's, it's, it's been probably three years. Um, so I gotta remember what the heck I'm doing here. So it's got a control board up here and then the two FPGA boards, I think. So I'm gonna plug into that, into this server power supply that I think works. <laughs> Oh man. Um, so yeah, I got this uh, when it came out. I think I paid a little over two grand for it at the time. I guess three, four years ago, something like that. Mined um, a lot of different cryptos with it. The way this works is like, this one does really well on CPU bound algorithms. So um, it couldn't do Ethereum, for example, but it could do Caspa, it seems like. It could do Veriscoin back in the day. Uh, it does Digibyte, just like the last thing I ever mined on it. But it just, it fell out of profitability and uh, the developer of it stopped making Bitstreams for it because I just really don't think there was much out there that made sense for the hardware that's in here, though it seems that may have changed. So it wasn't worth me running it, but I did for sure pay it off and then some in the time that I did have it. Okay, so we got these plugged in. And if I remember right, the most this model should pull, which is the regular Black Miner F1, I think the most it should pull is 600, maybe 650 watts. So I'm running it on a 1200 watt power supply, which I'm just doing on... Uh, 110, 120 voltage right now, just for the sake of this video. So I'm about to power this in, power this up here. So plug it in to the meter box. That way we can track its wattage here. And then I got to get ethernet plugged in as well, which is over here. And I'm powered up. All right, got some fans spinning, it's a good sign. Lights are on on the board on the top. Looking pretty good so far. Let's switch over cameras here. You guys can take a look. It's not much happening, but you can see the top of it there. We're in real quiet right now. And pull in just 28 watts right now, so. What I have to do is find this thing on my network and then update, I think, probably the firmware of it and then load in the bitstream. So let me find out my network and then we're gonna continue on from there. Okay, here it is over on the dashboard for this black miner. I haven't looked at this in so long. I'm getting like nostalgic doing this. It's not mining anything, I guess. I don't know, it's probably just too out of date so it didn't even pick up where it was last mining, but that's okay. I'm gonna come over to configuration go to upgrade and I need to flash a new firmware image that I downloaded from black miner. Uh, oops. So we're going to go choose file over to my downloads 
and I have this upgrade root FS, which is the firmware. So I'm going to load that up, hit upload, replace the running firmware on this black miner right now. Um, and then I also have the bitstream downloaded. So that is this Casper upgrade file and I unzipped it twice, which gives me this folder. And what I need to put onto the black miner is the actual dot bit, which is the bitstream file. And then the dot conf is a configuration file that will load up in there. You can see it's got like the pool information um, template in there for Caspa. And I have to do that using WinCP, WinSCP, which I downloaded. And I will just be able to move files from my computer over to this black miner. It also has an SD card in it. I think I had to do that from when I was mining Digibyte, but I should be able to just put it right on the native um, storage on the device because there's nothing else that's mineable with it these days anyway. So we'll let this upgrade and then we'll move over the bitstreams. Firmware update's done. Gonna move over the files that I need now. So that is the bit file, which I'll move right over here. Yes, wanna upload that. Uh, no space left. Okay, so I got to delete some of these ones that I had on there. You can see, if you're curious, these are some of the coins I was mining way back in the day. I guess I don't need any of them anymore, which is just weird to say, but I'm just going to delete them all. Clear them all out. You can't mine any of those with this FPGA anymore. And even if you can, they, um, they don't make any money because ASICs dominate. So I got the configuration file. Now we're going to move over to that bitstream. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. I think if I just refresh the um, web portal, I'll be able to set up a pool. We'll see what pools might support this FPGA right now. But man, this is, uh, I'm rusty on this. It's been a while. Let's see. Um, I loaded some of my old pools in here, I guess. That's fun. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to go figure it out and I'll be back. I did it. It's up and mining. Let's check it out together. Heading back over. You can see that we are mining. Been mining for about 10 minutes now. I'm in the Black Miner dashboard. And we're doing about two giga hash out of this piece of hardware that was just sitting on the shelf back here for years and years and years. And now doing two giga hash on Caspa. Let's check it out a little further. I just think that's this is like the coolest thing ever. Uh, what you're looking at is the two hash boards that this FPGA has inside it. And you can see each one uh, reported here. And I'm going to refresh this again. So I've seen it. It kind of fluctuates around two. goes a little under, a little above. And you can see our 10-minute average. I'm just going to call two giga hash. Um, I have the pool entered in if we go to configuration. And what I learned after doing some research is that the only pool that is working right now is hash pool. So I'm over there mining. We'll take a look at that in a second. And ultimately, really, that is it. So let's go take a look at the miner over on the pool. Again, this is hash pool. Let me give this a refresh. And you can see our average hash rate is a little higher reported here, but I expect that to come down as more shares get submitted to the pool. And you can see the black miner F1 right there submitting shares for Caspa over at hash pool. This is just the coolest thing ever. Man, I'm so pumped on this. You guys, I can probably tell. Um, so two giga hash, but how much wattage is this pulling? And surprisingly pretty low, and it's very quiet. The fans are only kicking on a little bit every now and then. And so looking over on the meter, we're about, we're right under 260 watts. So we're gonna call it 260 watts, mining two giga hash on Caspa. So let's put that a little bit into perspective. A 3070, the way I run them, do about 500 mega hash on Caspa for around 60, 62, 65 watts. So really, this is four 3070s that I just had sitting on a shelf. So it does pretty much exactly equivalent power-wise and hash rate-wise as four 3070s in this FPGA. And I usually don't do this, but I'm just so curious. We're going to check out some profitability on this thing as well. So let's head over to good old what to mine. I have the 2000 mega hash in there, which is the two giga hash. Uh, the power usage for 260 and I left the default 10 cent electric rate. And then I have the pool fee for uh, hash pool, which is 0.8%. So go ahead and calculate that on all the current values of making this video. 
and you can see profit wise, I am making dollar two cents per day, uh, which would give me, math's not hard, um, about 30 bucks, 30 bucks a month coming out of this uh, Black Miner F1. So that is it. I'm gonna let this thing mine. I'll probably get it set up in the garage with all the other equipment uh, so it'll stay nice and cool out there, get it plugged into 240 volt on the 30 amp PDUs I have out there and just let it roll. So I'm stoked. I'm sure you guys can tell. It's not often that you can have a piece of hardware that is deemed obsolete and just hasn't had any support and it's just sitting around and you kept it instead of scrapping it for the memories and nostalgia. And then all of a sudden you get a ping on Discord and somebody's like, hey, that thing may make money again. Shout out to you by letting me know in my Discord, by the way. So really cool. Couple thoughts on maybe what the future brings for Caspa. I have another FPGA mining on it right now. I'll leave a link up in the card to my video on that. That is doing about 4.5 giga hash. It's a much newer FPGA. This will join that and a couple other rigs I have mining Caspa, but what I'm starting to see is FPGAs coming online mining Caspa. And though this one is doing it around the same exact efficiency as a 3070, the other one I have destroys a 3070 in hash rate and efficiency. And so you'll see a lot of these FPGAs coming online that are gonna start dominating this coin, in my opinion, and we'll see what's left for us GPU miners. All my opinion, all my thoughts, but man, I've seen it happen before plenty of times, and I got to participate in it plenty of times by owning this FPGA. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. The like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU, FPGA, ASIC, and crypto mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Links down in the description below along with all my social media links as well. And if you have one of these, any version of the Black Miner and you got this up and running, shout out to you. Let me know down in the comments section below. Anyway, as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.